We use the course calculator to compute regression analysis, simple regression analysis. I have a document uh, or a handout in course documents under handouts where um, it's, it's called regression using BA2 plus calculator and it shows you the steps on how to compute the correlation coefficient, I'm sorry, the uh, regression analysis for this uh, data set X and Y column as you see here. Um, the document goes on to show you uh, what the process is and what to do. We uh, demonstrate now using the course calculator. What you need to do is go to second function, data, if you have work from data set from previous work that you have done, you need to clear uh, the data. So you go to second, clear work. Now you have um, to start entering the data. Our first paired observation is 1 and 3. So for x1, we put 1, then enter to enter it or save it and then we do the arrow down button and now we're ready to put the first Y value which is 3. Enter, arrow down. Similarly we input 2, enter, arrow down, 7, enter, arrow down, 3 and 5, 4 and 11, 5. and finally 5 and 14. We don't have a sixth observation, therefore at this point we go to second function key and number eight key which computes statistical analysis for us. The modes are, um, the last time I used this was uh, with a one variable, so I need to go to second function enter so that I can, it takes me to linear regression. This is where I want to be, however I will show you that it, um, this calculator uh, going through second function enter does also um, logarithmic regression, exponential regression, power regression, and of course one variable analysis if we have only one variable. But I want to change it to linear regression and at this point it's ready to show me the results. So by clicking on the arrow down button, you can see n or the number of observations were 5, average x value is 3, Aver um, standard deviation of x, sample standard deviation of x is 1.58, um, population uh, standard deviation for x is 1.41, and you can go down through all the analysis. A is really uh, your um, B sub zero or the point of intercept in this calculator. The relationships are shown to you right here um, in the handout. B is the slope for the line or B sub one from our analysis as we have studied it. R is the sample correlation coefficient for this sample. Um, let's overlook the X prime and Y prime for now. This is the summation of X, this is the summation of X squared, summation of Y, summation of Y squared, and the summation of X times Y column. And now if I go to second function, 
stat and I arrow down until I get to x prime. This is where I can enter, um, um, let's say, uh, 4. And then if I push enter, that's the x, uh, that's when I want to use the equation um, to compute y. And by plugging in an x and then enter to go to y prime, now if I push the CPT button, which means compute, it computes uh, the estimated value of y to be 10.6 for this example. Um, I think that's all I want to say on this issue. Thank you.